No. But you like demons. I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. We just saw the Grey Wardens try to raise an army of demons. You want Solus to bind you? He has to! If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. A mage using blood magic could conceivably do that to any one of us, human or demon. You should ask Solus to bind you too, and then someone can bind him. We'll find a way to keep you safe without binding you, Cole. I have a suggestion, if Cole is ready to listen. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit? Wearing an amulet of the Unbound was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. What are you doing? Listening. Eyes rough, jangling armor hurts my ears, back aching, fingers too clumsy for knots. Wind cool, like Aunt Eloise's pond, lips scalded as I sip, warmth blossoms, first kiss in the barn, what was his name? Tin jangle as the blood spills, Pierre's wrapped body on the wagon to the chantry, five more minutes, my fault. I could almost see what had happened to her. Yes. Is that what it's like for you? Yes. It's okay. Nothing you did mattered. What? Who are you? They lie there, and sometimes they die. Just like Pierre. You can't save them. I don't... I don't know who you are. Wait. That didn't work. Let me try again. You'll forget me in a minute. What are you going to do? Make her forget me. Then do it again, the right way. You can't save all of them. What? Like Pierre getting sick after you snuck out to Aunt Eloise's pond. You want it to be your fault, so there's a reason and it's not so frightening. But there is no reason. Pierre just got sick. The soldier was never going to live. It wasn't your fault. Better. She doesn't blame herself anymore? Not as much. It was bouncing around inside her, closing up into a ball of wrong. Now it's open. She'll get it out. Well done. Thank you for letting me help her. It's not how a person would do it. But it helped. That's what matters. What do I do with it? You found one of the amulets. Excellent. 
May I? It is simple enough. You put it on, I charge it with magic, and you should be protected. Are you ready, Cole? They can't make me a monster. Ah! What was that? Oh, for... What are you doing to the kid? Stopping blood mages from binding me like the demons at Adamant. But it didn't work. Something is interfering with the enchantment. Something like Cole not being a demon? I'm not certain exactly what Cole is. Regardless of Cole's special circumstances, he remains a spirit. Yes, a spirit who is strangely like a person. I don't matter. Just lock away the parts of me that someone else could knot together to make me follow. Focus on the amulet. Tell me what you feel. Warm, soft blanket covering, but it catches tears. I'm the wrong shape. There's uh, something. There. That way. It appears we have something to find. Again. All right, kid. Get Cullen and work with him on the map to figure out where you're sensing something wrong. Will you come with me? All of you? Sure. All right, I get it. You like spirits. But he came into this world to be a person. Let him be one. Cole is a demon, or a spirit. He has magical abilities and magical vulnerabilities. We cannot ignore that. Fair enough. But that ritual of theirs only works on demons, right? This is not some fanciful story, child of the stone. We cannot change our nature by wishing. You don't think? However we deal with the problem, our next step is to track down whatever is interfering with the enchantment. Yeah, this should get me through the month. Now give me a moment. Greetings. Can I help you? You. You killed me. What? I don't... I don't even know you. You forgot. You locked me in the dungeon in the Spire, and you forgot, and I died in the dark! The, the Spire? Cole, stop! Just take it easy, kid. He killed me! He killed me! That's why it doesn't work! He killed me, and I have to kill him back! Before anyone gets killed, I need to know what's going on. Cole, this man cannot have killed you. You are a spirit. You have not even possessed a body. A broken body, bloody, banged on the stone cell, guts gripping in the dark, dank. A captured apostate. They threw him into the dungeon in the spire at Valroyo. They forgot about him. He starved to death. I came through to help. And I, I couldn't, so I became him. Cole. If Cole was an apostate, that'd make the guy we just saw a Templar. Must have been buying lyrium. Let me kill him. I need to... I need to. Solis? We cannot let Cole kill the man. I don't think anyone was going to suggest that, Chuckles. Cole is a spirit. 
The death of the real Cole wounded him, perverted him from his purpose. To regain that part of himself, he must forgive. Come on. You don't just forgive someone killing you. You don't. A spirit can. Beric? The kid's angry. He needs to work through it. A spirit does not work through emotions. It embodies them. But he isn't a spirit, is he? He made himself human. And humans change. They, they get hurt. And they heal. He needs to work it out like a person. You would alter the essence of what he is. He did that to himself when he left the Fade. I'm just helping him survive it. Before I decide anything, I need a clearer picture of what happened. It seems the real Cole was an apostate. Captured and taken to the Circle by Templars. Who aren't known for their gentle nature. As the young man starved to death in a dungeon, his pain caught the attention of a spirit. Likely one of compassion. Compassion? An uncommon spirit, certainly. And all too fragile when its efforts to help proved to be in vain. Cole needs to let this go. I believe I can help. Cole, come with me. Can you feel this man's pain, Cole? He remembers now. He knows he killed me. No. Feel his pain. His guilt. The shame that drove him from the Templars. Don't worry, we'll erase his records. They clap me on the shoulder, smell of oiled metal and blood. They smile like Louis did when he made me drown the kittens. Laughter bounces off the walls like a thin child's fist. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He's hurting, Cole. And you are a spirit of compassion. Forget. <laughs> I believe we are finished here. You all right, kid? Yes. He's free. We're both free. Have you talked to him since? Have you heard what he sounds like? He sounds like a spirit. Nonsense words, like Bartrand at the end. Just need to hear the song again, just for a minute. I'm all right, Varric. What matters is his happiness. Cole, how are you feeling? I am well. There is work. Wounded to help, hurts to heal, but the weight is off. The old chains have fallen. You're not still angry with the man who hurt you? No, I helped him forget. His pain no longer pulls at me. A woman with two names slips a knife in darkness to her left hand. Honey stirred into Leliana's wine. Faith, not revenge. Could have been a person. Possibly. Would that have made him happier, Child of the Stone? Inquisitor, you honor us with your presence. Will you be dining alone, your worship? Or will others be arriving later? Who can tell these days? I didn't even realize I was alone just now. Very good, Your Worship. Right this way, please. Please enjoy your meal this evening, Your Worship. You can tell her. She'll laugh and then do it because she loves you. She wants to make you happy.
You saw something in him that needed a word of encouragement? He wants his wife to tie his hands to the bedposts. Little silk ribbons. He worries she'll hate him. She only said it because she was jealous of your shoes. Remember his hand on your waist as the music swelled. So many little hurts, even here, away from blood and battle. I wouldn't have heard them before. Now I can, thanks to you. So you help them with a few whispered words? The right words. Plus what I am, a little of me making the happiness stronger so the pain fades. I don't steal the pain. The nightmare demon at Adamant did that. It made them less so it could grow. I help them heal. They never need to know I was here. You've made me better. It was my pleasure. Remember old Maurice, too proud to forgive, gnarled hands clutching the back of an empty chair? Find another path. There was someone, before. He was my friend, but he didn't know what I was. When he found out, he changed. I lost him. You found out, but you didn't change. Didn't make me change. You let me be this, be more. Thank you for helping me find this again. For believing in me. You don't know what it means. I have an inkling. And you're welcome. You don't need to. It used to help, but it doesn't anymore. Let it go. You were scared. Trying to show them you were strong. Find him. Tell him you're sorry. The woman in the red dress thinks you would look good naked. She wants someone to compliment her hat. They will never know, but I know, thanks to you. <laughs>